Centre for Inquiry, Canada's premier venue for secular humanists, atheists, skeptics, and free thinkers. Teaching the Controversy is Centre for Inquiry Canada's educational video series, which helps you evaluate controversies and think critically. I'm your host, Justin Goderis, and joining me today is Will McDowell, Branch Manager for CFI Toronto. Hi, Will. Will, why is this controversial? Uh, well, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence was a term first coined by Carl Sagan, who is a well-known scientist, but also a science popularizer. And it essentially asserts put your money where your mouth is. Um, it's putting the responsibility on somebody who asserts a claim to back that claim up with evidence. Hmm. So why is the evidence controversial? Because there are organizations or people who would love more, nothing more than just to be able to assert a claim with as much conviction and, as possible and just have you believe it as a result of that conviction. So I understand CFI Canada developed a website called extraordinaryclaims.com. Yep. What's the purpose of the website? One of the things that we value amongst our highest priorities of the things that we would like to see is critical thinking. And so we wanted to provide a venue for people to be able to do that. Um, this lets you explore any sort of extraordinary claim, uh, come up with as, the best evidence that we can find for it, and, and make your own decisions. We list our conclusions, but we also put down user submissions from what they think. You can submit your opinions, you can submit evidence for, evidence against as well. So we wanted to offer the most unbiased um, perspective that we could and allow people to draw their own conclusions. Interesting. How does it work? Can, can you walk us through it? Sure. Um, it's pretty easy. You just go to extraordinary-claims.com. Um, and then you're presented with a list of claims that we've compiled evidence for. Um, one is Thor. So if you click on Thor, you'll see you know, the claim that Thor was a, a god of Norse mythology or Thor was a Norse god and had the power of commanding thunder. And um, from his hammer Mjolnir, I believe. And the evidence shows, for example, how thunder is caused as a result of lightning, which is caused by clouds and has links submitted to that. That one's a fairly cut and dry one, but you can still see... Uh, anybody responding to the claim, if they assert differently, or if providing evidence that supports it or is contrary to what we state. So in, in the case of Thor, are, are they all as uncontroversial as that? or? No, there, there are some that are far more relevant uh, to today, uh, such as alternative medicine, for example, is one that you can click on. And it's, it's an estimated $15 billion a year business that is based on selling products that are either not proven to work or proven not to work. Is there anything else controversial about the phrase, extraordinary claims require extraordinary uh, evidence? Ironically, that it's controversial in itself. It really shouldn't be. Uh, it's essentially, it's, it's interesting to think about and somewhat disturbing to think why somebody would not want to supply evidence when they're trying to get your compliance or your money. Will, thank you for joining us and thank you for teaching us the controversy. If you'd like to learn some more information, please visit us on our website at cficanada.ca. I'm Justin Goddard, and remember, your curiosity is one of your best tools.